My name is Baby Eros. Um, I'm an artist, a songwriter, producer, mixing, mastering. I do the whole process pretty much front to back myself. Um, and I also do it for other artists as well. Music has always been a hugely therapeutic thing for me. Um, just in my own space, I'm able to process like my, my thoughts, things that I can't necessarily say or like come to terms with for myself. I'm able to, you know, slowly at my own pace, process that thing and make it into a thing I can step back and look at and be like, oh, I worked through that. I can, and looking at that song, it's like confirmation that I, I went through it and dealt with it. When I was nine, my parents got me a guitar. It was a first act, a little cheap one. And I would just lock myself in my room and learn all of the songs that I knew or wanted to know. From that point, I started recording and figuring out that process when I was like 14 and then got some cheap software. Just started learning the ins and outs of what to do and not to do. And I really haven't stopped since. I feel like it was a process to get comfortable like I am on stage and be able to put the energy that I do into it. Um, it not, I wouldn't say I did like practice in the mirror type thing, but I would see footage of myself and be like, oh, that's what it looked like. But when I, you know, was like screaming like that. <laughs> um, it was it definitely helpful to see, you know, what that looks like. But a lot of it's just kind of purely me expressing. And I feel like that's what I really try to push with this sound and just with my performance in general, it's just to be, this is pure expression. This is just me belting out my feeling. Growing up was, it, it had it's a, lot of, a lot of hard moments for sure. Um, and I think that definitely has given me a lot of my inspiration for writing and you know, going back and you know, I feel like I was one of those people, or am one of those people that kind of hid away when things were stressful or kind of shaky at home. So it's a hard thing to break away from now in my like personal life is you know not just hide away when I'm feeling um, overwhelmed or something. The thing I'm most probably proud of right now with my music is just how far I've gone with performance and making that um, even possible. It was kind of right before the pandemic when I was like getting ready to perform these songs and had things lined up and then everything kind of shut down. So I had to re convene and kind of figure out a new game plan for what I was going to be doing and having opportunities like, you know, the grid that popped up, you know, during those times and did it safely, you know, really gave me uh, good opportunities to get, get to what I wanted to visualize for, for my fan base. My inspirations are all over the place. <laughs> I have uh, always been kind of ADHD, not even just in my own head, but with music in it itself. I feel like I, I really like hardcore music, like stuff like Under Oath was always huge for me growing up. I always really liked hip hop. Um, J. Cole is a really big inspiration of mine and the Beastie Boys, um, Eminem, just because I'm from Detroit and just being able to see someone from Detroit go that high, it's just really cool. And then I really like folk music and stuff like that too. Um, I did a lot of that kind of stuff in high school for like coffee shops, I'd play Mumford and Sons and stuff like that. Perfect. The industry could change a lot. Um, I think it has a lot of focus on specific people and doesn't, there's not a wide enough range of you know depth of view, I feel like when it comes to artistry and it, it gets narrowed down too tight. And that that's, makes it harder for people to be exposed, I think, in this industry, for sure. I think my favorite part of just like producing for others is getting to be that like conduit that helps someone get to the point. I wanted someone like that growing up and I didn't always have people that were skilled and like helpful in giving me that, that kind of backing to show me how to do these things. So I really enjoy seeing that like spark in somebody or getting that connection with someone else while we're in that writing process or in that just mixing process and getting that sound and seeing them go, oh, that's how that works. It's a really cool way of communicating with people.